friends welcome to cad master solid works tutorial series in this tutorial we will see assembly of a model in assembly section in this tutorial we will be doing assembly of this model and the parts of this model which are assembled will be provided in a library that is a dedicated library of these parts will be provided to you for you to practice we are going to assemble parts and create this model now we are in the assembly section first we will select the insert insert components option this is a dedicated library from this we need to choose the parts for assembly this is our base part and in this tutorial we are going to perform bottom down assembly that is assembly will start from the bottom part this is the main part after selecting this part we will be selecting parts one by one and apply standard mates and in this tutorial we will be seeing few standard mates such as parallel mate perpendicular mate angle mate and coincident mate which we will be seeing one by one now let's call out the second part in the same way select the insert components option and this is our second part after selecting this second part this part is not placed now click anywhere on the screen and it will be placed now this part is placed now first we will be applying mates between these two parts now select the mates option after selecting the mates option in the property manager you will get different types of mates and editing options from this we are going to see coincident mate parallel mate perpendicular mate and angle mate first we will see perpendicular mate that is we will apply perpendicular mate between this model or this part and this part and here we need to select the entities to mate so i will select this space over here after selecting the this space i will select this edge and select perpendicular mate here as you can see on the screen this part got placed on this part in perpendicular direction as we earlier applied perpendicular mate now we will see other mates now we will see parallel mate select the parallel mate i am selecting this space of a groove over here and this space of the part now as you can see on the screen after selecting the type of mate and entities to mate the action got performed and this part became parallel to this face of a group now we will apply coincident mate select coincident mate and here i am going to select this face and this face of the part to make it coincident now 
the deviation was a bit little but it got deviated now again i am going to apply few times coincident command or coincident mate to fix this part over here just see this part is not yet constrained because you can see motion over here so we need to apply one more constraint and again it will be coincident constraint or coincident mate now as you can see this part is not moving it has become fully constrained over here now let's select second part to assemble again select insert component now we have to assemble this part and if you have to move or rotate any part select move component and in this move component right now i am going to select rotate component option as i want to rotate this component you can adjust the direction and adjust the component according to your requirement now again i will be applying different mates to adjust this component first i will be applying coincident mate i will coincident this face with this face of this part now i will be applying one more mate which we will be seeing in next tutorial which is concentric mate now we will insert our another component as now you might have understood that in this assembly of models we have to call a component one by one and assemble it according to our use so in the same way you need to call the components and use mates accordingly as you can see i applied concentric mate over here and to make it fully constrained i will be applying coincident mate also i will coincidence this face with this face of pin over here
same coincident made over here again. Now as you can see, this pin has become fully constrained. And we can even view the angle mate between different mating parts. Right now, I will deviate this part in a certain angle. For that, I will give angle mate between these two faces. I will just select these two faces. As you can see, after selecting that two faces, I got angle mate option over here. I will select this option and just change the angle. And just say OK. As you can see, this part was in different angle earlier but now after applying the mate it got deviated in this way we have seen a basic assembly of model in assembly section few standard mates such as parallel mate coincident mate angle mate and assembly of this model. Thanks for watching the video.